sing out this song and I'll be there by your side. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! It really is happening. Welcome back to Tevating Patiently, the appreciation podcast that highlights, dives deeper, and celebrates the work and accomplishments of our national treasure, Aaron Tevate. I'm your host, Elizabeth, and I'm still in shock and disbelief at the news and Aaron experiences of this past week. It's funny that last week's episode was all about my Aaron favorite things, and while that list still stands... At the time of the recording of the episode, and even by the time that that episode dropped, two of my favorite things to add to the top of the list hadn't even happened yet. Never did I ever believe that Aaron would announce that he would be reprising his role of Christian in Moulin Rouge. And never did I believe that I'd have the opportunity to not just see Aaron close up, but to get a photo and hold a conversation with him at Rizzoli Bookstore during a book signing. Yet both of those things happened within one day of each other, and I still have not recovered. If you're indulge me, let's take a stroll down memory lane for a couple of minutes. You know how there are just those moments where you remember exactly where you were or what you were doing when that moment happened? I remember exactly where I was when Aaron first posted his Roxanne opt-up clip on Instagram on April 7th, 2022. I was in the parking lot waiting for my son to be dismissed from preschool and I opened my app and I heard that magic. Then I proceeded to listen to it on loop for the remainder of the day and for many days, okay, weeks, after. I also know that I'll remember exactly where I was when Aaron dropped his post on Instagram announcing his return to the Rouge. Oh my gosh. First, it was the audible gasp. Then it was, oh my god. Then the tears welled up in my eyes, and then, oh my god, proceeded to come out on repeat as I started texting my husband and my friends. My dog, who was sitting with me, actually got up to move away from me because my movement and excitement woke her up, and she was not pleased. She doesn't understand the impact that Aaron has on us. Never did I think that we would actually get news that Aaron would be returning to his role of Christian, but hey... It's a Christmas miracle, and I am here for it. How long do you think he's known he was going to be back? After I composed myself enough to pick up my computer without shaking too much so I didn't drop it, I started to look up dates and tickets to make a trip back to the Al Hirschfeld Theater. And I had the seats and the date picked out, but I was waiting to hear back from my mom to make sure she'd be available to watch the kids while we were away. While it only took about 15 minutes for her to get back to me, it might as well have been 15 hours. Time moved so slow. But once I had her confirmation, I could not click submit fast enough. I can't believe this is actually real and Aaron will soon be back on stage in his Tony Award winning role. Listening to the soundtrack now just hits different. Knowing that all of those songs that Aaron sings on the soundtrack will be sung live again He will walk across the stage to lift the sign and start the show. He will rickroll. He will shut up and dance with Ashley Loren. He will fly through the freaking air and do a backflip during backstage romance. He will hold on to dear life and chandelier and his heart will cry during Roxanne and the opt up, the opt up will live again. Come what may, he will be back. Can can you tell I'm excited? And when I told my son that Aaron would be returning and singing Roxanne again on stage, his response was, of course he is. He should have never left. So if finding out that he would be returning as Christian wasn't enough, that night I was prepping my bag to head to NYC for the next day for a book signing at Rizzoli Bookstore with Aaron, Danny Burstein, Baz Luhrmann, and David Cody. David is the author of the Moulin Rouge the Musical, the story of the Broadway Spectacular. I saw the posting for this book signing the day it released and I sent it to my husband. Me being me, I have a tendency to hesitate before making commitments, so I didn't buy the tickets right away. And later in the day when I was ready to commit, I found out that the event was sold out. And again, I told my husband, and his response to me was, Merry Christmas. 
because he'd already purchased the ticket since he knew I'd hesitate, but knew I also would really want to go. So, I mean, he wins right there. In the days leading up to December 2nd, it really started to sink in that I was actually going to have the opportunity to be face to face with Aaron. I'd find myself shaking my head throughout the day in disbelief that this was actually going to happen. My five-year-old is a huge fan of Aaron's song, Roxanne. He knows all the words, he knows and imitates Aaron's movements when he performs the song, and in the car, Roxanne is the most requested song. On Thanksgiving, when the Moulin Rouge cast performed Elephant Love Medley, my son's ears perked up and he said, hey, we know this song. And then he waited a beat and said, but I know Aaron's version. So I was excited to tell him that I was going to go and meet Aaron. And he said he wanted to make Aaron a card and begged me to give it to him. My son is someone who bounces from one activity to the next very quickly. But when I sat down with him to create this card, he was so focused. He told me he was going to try his best to write his best, and he wanted to draw Aaron on the stage. It was adorable to see his excitement and what work he put into it. So December 2nd finally arrived, and my husband and I were en route to New York. We spent some time walking through the city, seeing the Rockefeller tree and Bryant Park, and after dinner, it was time to head to the bookstore to get in line. If you've never been to Rizzoli Bookstore, I recommend that you pop in sometime if you're in the city. The atmosphere is just what you think of when you think of a bookstore. Cozy, inviting, beautiful, floor-to-ceiling books. Luckily, we got into the store and checked in early because at a certain point, they started having people line up outside due to capacity issues. And while in line, my husband and I started talking with another couple, and the husbands hit it off talking about Aaron's role as Mikey Warren in Graceland, and us wives, we were fangirling over Moulin Rouge and Aaron's return. Then the door to the bookstore opened, and I let out an audible gasp when I saw Aaron walk into the store. White t-shirt, cardigan, coffee in hand, all the Aaron staples. I pulled out my phone to get a video of him as he walked back, and in my nervous state, I said, Hi, Aaron, and I caught his attention for the briefest of moments. A few minutes later, we caught a glimpse of Danny Burstein walking in. He was a little more undercover, with a mask and a baseball hat. And while we waited, we watched Aaron, Baz, and Danny take photos together with the book, and the anticipation for the doors to open was real. While we waited in line, the Rizzoli bookstore workers told us that they would be more than happy to take photos for us and to just hand them our phones when it was our turn to go through the line. So I worked it out with my husband that he would take video of me as I went through the line and met Aaron and Baz and Danny, and then I'd have the worker take the photo with the other phone. I don't know if I'd ever get this opportunity again, so like I wanted to have all my bases covered. I must have repeated myself 17 times, but I mean, you got, you got to do what you got to do. Aaron, he was just as genuine, sweet, and down to earth in person as he has always come off on screen and in interviews. I said hello to him right away and he responded with a casual, hey, how's it going? And then was more than willing to pose for a photo. And after the photo op, I gave him the card that my son had made for him. And I told him, how much my son loves Roxanne and his performance of the song. Aaron took the card with a big smile on his face and was so appreciative. I expected he would just take the card and put it off to the side and move on to the next person in line, but instead he paused and took time to open and read the card right there. I was able to get a photo of him reading the card and my husband actually caught it on video. He had the sweetest smile on his face and I've watched watched that video more times than I could ever count and knowing that my son now also has this memory to look back on is everything. Baz Lerman was next to Aaron and he was so down to earth as well. He greeted us with a hello mate and asked us some questions and I just couldn't stop thanking him for creating the world of Moulin Rouge. He was so gracious when asked to take photos. And up next was the OG Harold Ziegler himself Danny Burstein 
What a sweet man. He wore a mask, so it was a little harder to converse with him, but I thanked him for being there, and he put his hands over his heart and said how much he appreciated us showing up. After going through the line, we hung out in the room for a couple minutes. I mean, I had to come back down off of cloud nine in order to put one foot in front of the other to walk out the door. My cheeks hurt from smiling, and I could have cared less. That whole evening was one that I will never forget. Checking social media on the way home, I saw Moulin Rouge's TikTok of Aaron paired with the book with his picture of Christian open, and the music was Taylor Swift. It's me. Hi. Whoever's running the show's social media is genius. And the comments on that post were along the lines of, are you aware of how much you're blowing everyone's mind with this news and about the desire for a pro shot now that Aaron is returning to the show? Moulin Rouge was commenting back that they know how much the pro shot is wanted and that they have so much more in store. What do you think? You think we're actually going to get the long-awaited and desired pro shot? I'm still unsure, but I have my fingers crossed. And now, in just over a month, our Christian will return to the stage. The waiting period is going to feel long. The anticipation is going to build and build, and then come January 17th, it is just going to explode. The internet is not ready for Tibet Nation once Aaron takes the stage again and photos and clips are released. All I know for sure is I cannot wait. Thank you so much for listening today and for continuing to support this podcast. If you're looking for more fun Aaron content, follow me on Instagram at Tivating underscore patiently and on TikTok at Tivating patiently. Hope to have you back here for episode 26.